Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Nextcloud, a cloud-based server on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we dive into the installation part of Nextcloud on Ubuntu 16.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is Nextcloud cloud server. Nextcloud is from own cloud founder Frank Klausuchak established fork of own cloud which was announced on June 2nd 2016. Nextcloud is fairly new but offers some features on which offers own cloud only in the enterprise version. Amongst other things are SAML single sign on authentication that is SSO, integration with Windows Network Drive that is SMB that is Samba, Oblique CIFS, external storage with Swift, FTP, WebDAV, Amazon S3, Google Drive, Dropbox and OpenStack object service. Password policy, customizing the brand, anonymous uploads, conferences via WebRTC, integration of online office, contacts and calendars. Now if we talk of more details of Nextcloud is that the developer is Nextcloud GmbH, the publishing year is 2016 and the current version is 9.0.53 and was announced on July 18, 2016. It is basically based on Linux and programming language that is PHP and JavaScript and it falls under the category of cloud computing. Now Nextcloud is also installed on mobile phone devices so it is under the current version that is 1.1.0 that is Android 2 oblique 10 that is for iOS which was announced on July 6, 2016 and July 4, 2016 for iOS. And believe me, there are some fundamental differences to own cloud. That is, number one, no contributor agreements, only AGPL, which is a license. Number second, no microservices, no exclusive enterprise apps, all software released. Now, if we talk of more details, as you can see on the screen, I have already opened the website of Nextcloud, that is nextcloud.com, and it's a secured website. And it says, a safe home for all your data. And access and share your files, calendars, contacts, mails, and more from any device on your terms. And if we talk of more things, it is having a proper community, which is uh, inviting people to in order to develop this. And it keeps the privacy, which means it keeps your files secure and private, unless you don't decide to open them. So which means that uh, the main problem of privacy issues of cloud computing is all already been solved by Nextcloud and it is flexible which means it provides new functionality to provide all you need to live your digital life and it is perfect for homes offices and it is available for home users and even for enterprise users and you can find uh, you can subscribe to this newsletter by clicking over here and you can uh, stay up to date with the cloud news and all the news which you can see over the Twitter over the forums and even on the news you can find over this website and you can uh, click on features you can find more features of own cloud you can see that plus in your control file access and sharing, mobile and desktop clients, external storage and more that is calendar and contact secure audio and video calls, Collabro online office and many many more. And even if you can click over there that is under get involved you can even get involved into this uh, community and it's an open source community and it is under the rapid application development. So you can find that you can join either improve Nextcloud or you can even the test Nextcloud. So you can see that it is making the Nextcloud rock and I can say that it is rocking. So you can download the latest version. So as you can find that I have demonstrated whole of the Nextcloud. So let us go to Ubuntu 16.04 which I have already installed on VMware and allocated 2 GB of RAM and I will be using that Ubuntu 16.04 64-bit in order to install Nextcloud on the server. So you can see, let us open the virtualization. You can find I've already started my Ubuntu 16.04. So let me log in. So here are all these steps which I have demonstrated. So you can find that all these steps will be just simple. And if you follow steps, so there will be no problem and it is very easy to install. So I will be installing the latest version that is 9.0.53 or 5.2 you can even install. So that depends on you. So let us start. So first of all is that that we have to log into root. So give this command to you a space minus and let me give the password. So you can see that the root has logged in. So first of all is that we have to update the server. So give this command that is apt hyphen get update. So it is very important so that the latest repositories can be installed and uh, we should not find any problem in installing Nextcloud. So till it updates, let me tell you that uh, before we install Nextcloud, the main thing is to install the LAMP server and PHP because why it is purely written into PHP as well as JavaScript. So LAMP server is very much required in order to make the Nextcloud run onto your server. 
So you can see that it has been updated. So the first command which we have to give is to install the LAMP server and then we will install some PHP extensions. So let us give this command that is apt hyphen get install LAMP hyphen server and shift 6. So let us press enter. So with this only command whole of the MySQL PHP will be installed. So let's press Y. You can see that it requires about 23 MB of download and 181 MB will be used in order to install and update the LAMP server on Ubuntu 16.04. So all depends on your net connection. So if you have a fast net connection, it will be taking uh, less than one minute or otherwise within one or two minutes, you will be able to download and install. And installation takes a one minute procedure. And you can find all the packages over here and all the new packages over here. So I will be using PHP 7.0, which is the latest one. So we will not take much time to download and install it. You can see I'm getting very good speed. So once it is downloaded, you can see it is demanding me. The first step is to configure my MySQL server that is 5.7. So we have to give the password. So let me type the password and let me retype. So after that, it will be automatically installing the Apache server, MySQL, as well as setting up the PHP and bringing this server as MySQL, or you can see the PHP server, LAMP server. So after LAMP has been installed, next cloud is requiring some P PHP extensions. So all these extensions like lib Apache, PHP, MB string, curl, zip, GD, MySQL, and mcrypt will be required. So let us copy this command and let us paste it so that we should not find any problem when we go to the front end main steps of Nextcloud. So it is enabling all the modules of Apache. So it will not take much time. It is very fast. So if you allocate 2 GB of RAM to your virtual machine, it will not be taking much time. And if it is 3, it's much good. So let's clear this and let us paste this command. So you can find that it is requiring about 653 KB of archives. And after that, it will be taking about 2.3 MB of disk space. So another uh, extension which we require is PHP hyphen XML, which is main. That's why I have given it another step. But otherwise, you can just give the space and type PHP hyphen XML over there in the command and it will be installed and you can save one step also. So that depends on you. So the triggers are getting installed and it is unpacking the main trigger that is lib Apache 2 and it is done. So let us install the last extension that is apt hyphen get install php hyphen xml. So 114 KB, not taking much time. And now what we have to do is to start our fourth step that is to download the Nextcloud from the server. That is https downloadnextcloudcom slash server slash releases slash netcloud, this version. Or you can just uh, change it to 9.0.53 in order to download the more latest. But 9.5, uh, 0.52 will not uh, be any problem for us. It is same, just a minor changes, minor, minor. Okay, so now we are all set. So now let us download and let us start. So you can see that it is resolving and it is making the connection with download.nextcloud.com. And it is connecting and now it will be starting the download. So it is about 38 MB of download size. So depending on your net connection, it will take about less than minute or maybe one to two minutes. That depends on your connection. So after that, what we have to do is to unzip the next cloud. And after that, we will be moving the next cloud to our this folder. So let us unzip now. So let me first of all show you where it is downloaded. So let us type LS so you can see that it is downloaded. So let's clear and now let us unzip it. So lots and lots of files are being unzipped. So let's clear. And now you can see that the next cloud folder is being done. So let's move the next cloud folder to this slash var slash w slash html. So let's paste it. So it has been moved and now let us change the access rights by issuing this command. Okay. So now what we have to do is to configure our uh, next cloud for a database server. So let us type this command mysql underscore secure underscore installation okay so now let us type the password for the root which we have set so I don't want to change the password so let's press no and let's press no again so let's remove the anonymous user press Y press Y press Y again press Y all done 
So now what we have to do is to go to this command that is mysql space minus u root space minus p and let's type the password. Now you can see that the mysql command is there and we have to issue some of these uh, commands so that we can create the backend database and we should not find any problem in operating at the front end which is via website. So let's grant all the privileges to this and it is identified by Anand which means Anand is the password. So same commands which I will be using in other my videos also. So same commands are there and now let us exit it. So now what we have to do is to disable some MariaDB bindery logging. So we have to type this command and we have to open this file. So let's copy this file. Let me clear this. Let's and let's come to the bottom. So over bottom over here, we have to type these three lines. So let me copy them. And all these steps which I am telling you will be available besides the video. So let's remove the spacing. Okay, good enough. So press Control X, Y and press Enter. Now we have to configure the Apache web server. So let's give this command that is A2 and mod rewrite. So service Apache to restart. And now let us make this file so that we can uh, do some more settings. And let's take this command now. So we are configuring our Apache web server now. So we have to configure step by step. And now before we go into this command, let us take the IP address of this machine. So give this command ifconfig and I should note the IP address that is 192.168.117.202. So this is our IP address. You can locate over here. So let us go to this uh, command now. Let us type the file name and create a file. Let's paste and press enter. So now what you have to do is to copy this everything over here and you have to make the minor changes. Let's paste. So first of all, let us remove the spacings. Okay, so this is server admin, which is admin at the red Ubuntu. So the server name, which we have to type the IP address. So let us remove this IP address and type this. That is 192.168.117.202. So let's remove this and serverize is Ubuntu, which is the host name. And let us remove all the spaces from here. Good enough for us. So this is error log, custom log, and slash virtual host. So this is the script which you have to type. So press Control X, Y, and press Enter to save the file. Now what we have to do is to restart the Apache web server. Let's copy this and let us paste it. So it is restarting. So now what we have to do is to type in the IP address oblique nextcloud onto our main and give this command that is next admin with the username and nextcloud admin as the password. So let us go to our web browser and let us type this command that is http slash slash 192.168.117.202 slash nextcloud. Okay, so it is giving some problem. So let us troubleshoot this problem now. So it was my mistake, just we have to type the IP address. So you can see that the next cloud is there. So let us type the username as admin and next cloud admin as the password. So here's a data folder. So let us type the database user which we have created over here. You can see. So database user which we have created is next cloud with this password. And type the database also. So let us correspond finish setup. So you can see that it is finishing the setup. Okay, and voila, yes, we can see that the next cloud server has been installed and we can see all the apps and you can just uh, over here, you can click on users and you can make your own user. So let us make one user with my name and my password. So let us click create and let us log with it with this also. So you can see that the users are being created and everything is working fine and fine. So you can access this also onto your Android app or even your iOS app. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Nextcloud on Ubuntu 16.04. So do give this a shot and do like this video. Thank you so much for listening to me.